Yer. What's going on, guys? What's popping? Hope you guys doing good out right here. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Prince H back right here. Just want to come holler at y'all right here. I'm doing some paperwork. I just want to holler at you. Mainly, I want to holler at the young people. Young people and people also who are here bouncing from career to career, trying to find out what they really want to do. You know what I'm saying? I just want to throw something past you. I just want to see what you think about it. You know? You know, you've been going bouncing job to job. You know? You so say you got out of school and you didn't want to go to the military or you didn't want to go to school. So you just went straight to work. I respect that. Or you just graduated school or you about to graduate school and you have no options. So you feel like the only option is to go to the military. Respect that. You're doing something positive. Or you graduate in school and you out here and you have no plans to go to the military. You don't know what the hell you're going to do when you get out of school. You're just going to wing it. Point is for all you guys. All you guys. Right? I have an option for you. Get into a trade. Get into a trade, man. I don't know, you know, how much clearer um, I can be that get into a trade. Like, where else can you learn skill sets that allows you to keep this skill set forever and allows you to maybe open your own business or just allows you to grow and eat forever. You never have to get worried about getting laid off in terms of uh, not being able to find a job. Because you can do, you know, you can even do mass side jobs on the side. If you want to do that? Why are you working with a company? That's up to you. This is your knowledge. This is your skills. No one can take that away from you. You know what I'm saying? No one can take that away from you. So, I'm just telling you, man. And for you guys, you know, just let you know, we ain't going nowhere. Trades is not going nowhere. Trades been here since Jesus, right? Jesus was a carpenter. Jesus was a tradesman. So, trades are not going nowhere. The world changes, but tradesmen are still here. Because the skills you have, the skills you you possess we're gonna you're gonna need them they building every day you're gonna need plumbers you're gonna need electricians you're gonna need hvac techs you're gonna need carpenters you're gonna need brick masons there's money out here i'm sure you look around your city your town you see mad shit going up you can get hired right there where they building some shit to do whatever carpentry or whatever trade you want to do Yo, it's money out here, you know, and I'm not knocking people who, you know, who go to school and, and go to college and everything. That's what you want to do. That's what's up, you know, but I, I, I was reading an article one day, uh, um, maybe a month ago about, you know, trades and, and everything, right? And it was just, it was just basically kind of a comparison between a doctor and, uh, and a tradesman and basically saying, you know, same people got out of school. They both got out of school at the same time, right? One went into the trades and one went into pursuing to be a doctor. So let's say a tradesman, right? Tradesman get out of school. He goes to school, you know, let's say for, let's say he goes to school for two years, paying $15,000, right? The doctor gets out of, the um, person pursuing to be a doctor gets out of school. I mean, gets out of high school, right? Goes into college. They got to go to school for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? So they go on to school for 10 years while you going to school for, let's say, two at the most. Financially wise. Trade school, I mean, the most I think I've seen is around 20, 20, 20 racks at the most. But you can find schools less than that. You can even get in a trade without even going to school. You can just get with a company and they teach you in the, in, in, within the company. So think about that. 
doctor, you gotta go to school, right? That's 10 years in school. Mad money. Doctor, I heard doctors paying off, still paying off loan. I should, um, I know a, a person who, who's um, a doctor, right? Fifty, five hundred thousand dollars in debt, student loans, and school loans to be a doctor. Five hundred racks. You know what I'm saying? So you in school for two years, or you working with a company who's teaching you. You know, while you in, while you straight out of school, you making money within let's say first two years. You making money. Yeah, let's say you went to school. You making money. In two years, you started working. Give it a company, start working, making money. Doctor, you still in school those two years. Year three, doctor still in school. You out here making money. You with a company. You learning your your craft. You learning your skills. You working. You put your hands on on stuff. Year four, doctor still in school. No money yet. Still bills though. Debt. Tradesman making more money. Probably ain't got two. Two raises by now, maybe three raises by now. Year four, year five, same thing. Doctor still in school. You making money. You're growing. You're you 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 probably at four year four or five, you probably at seventy, eighty thousand dollars by now. Doctor hasn't earned shit, still in school. But still got racking up debt. You your debt's probably paid off. You see you paid 20, 20 racks. You done paid your debt off right by now. In five years, you know what I'm saying? If not, you about to finish paying your debt off. Then let's say take it all the way to ten years. Ten years? Ten years? You probably fucking own the company, bro. The doctor's still just getting out of school. And guess what? When they get out of school, you debt free. You making money. You got guap. You making hundred racks a year now. A doctor got five hundred, four hundred thousand dollars in debt now. They gotta pay. So, bro, guys who always tell me, "Oh, I don't, I want to do that," you know, saying they want to look down on tradesmen or whatever. Or they thinking, you know, the money ain't there, bro. The money's there. The money is there. And like I said, I'm just exaggerating with the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Year three, you can be making uh, eighty thousand a year. I don't know. It all depends on, it's up to you, it's the saying, it's your knowledge, you do what the hell you want to do with it. You want to work with a company, and then do your job, side jobs too, you can combine that and make, you know, make all that money you want to make, man. No one can stop you, bro. You make as much money you want to make, that's the thing, because it's your skill, your knowledge, things you, you possess. What a doctor, doctor can't practice no fucking law at home. You know what I'm saying? Doctor has to work in a hospital or whatever for a uh, Internship for a couple years as a resident before they even get into a, a hospital that they, they call their own. You know, doctor has to be in the field for a minute before they start their own practice. Man, it's, it's just what I'm saying, man. The money's out there, and then you're looking at the like the trades are never gonna go away as well. I mean, I know it's a crazy. You might want to say it's a crazy comparison, but. You really look at it, it's, 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 it's true too though. You know, and you know, they always build the stuff. So always gonna need you. Air conditioning, uh, HVAC guys, the weather's obviously, you know, with the ozone and the greenhouse effects, the world's getting hotter in certain places, colder in other places. They're gonna need people who know how to do environmental controls and control the temperature in rooms. They need refrigeration guys to be able to control the temperature and refrigerators and freezers all the food that we consume it's only gonna get bigger and bigger more people here it's gonna get bigger and bigger houses and different buildings they building yo it's never going away it's never going away they're gonna always need you they're gonna always need carpenters they're gonna always need plumbers brick masons i took that in high school bro you know what I'm saying? We built a couple houses while I was in high school. I liked it. Get in the trade, man. Forget about doing the military. Military, I respect the military. And I salute everybody who's in the military. But a lot of those people got went into the military and didn't get out. Didn't receive anything for being in the military, man. They barely got good um, medical attention. 
They barely get any money for being in the military. You know what I'm saying? The benefits, you know, outweigh the cost. I and mean, you can cost your, you can cost your life. But like I said, I respect people in the military. But if you want to go to the military and that's what you want to do, I respect it. Now, if you got to go to the military because you feel like that's the only thing you got to do or you can do, because right now you have no other options, trade. That's your option. Trade. I can't say it no more clear and plainer than that. Especially my young black men out here. Y'all, you guys should get in the trades, man. Get in the trades. Everybody can be, like I said, a rapper, man. Everybody can be a ball player. But best believe, I know some guys in this trade who you seen them out on the street, you think they're a rapper or a ball player. I'm telling you, because they got that money. They making that money living in nice, you know, $500,000 houses, pushing $100,000 whips. Yo, no lie. I'm telling you, no lie. It's money out here, man. And the world is big, and you can't get it? Come on. It's all right, man. I'm going I'm to I'm leave you guys alone, but I'm telling you, look into it. Look into the trades. It's, it's, it's big, man. It's big. You can, really, you can really, you know, you can really make a lot out here. You can really better your situation, your family situation out here, man. You know, street life is old. It's over, man. Let's, let's get this legit money. You know what I'm saying? It's fast money. It's over, man. Let's get this legit money. You know what I'm saying? Prince HVAC. Holla at you. Yo, comment below. Got some questions? Comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading. I'm going to drop another video soon. Um, you know, showing you what I'm doing and everything in terms of work. It's just been, been crazy. But uh, yeah, man. Stay up. Yeah.